All right, word on the street. Olive Garden got that fucking never-ending pasta back. So let's go check it. Oh, shit. Shout out Miguel Calzado. So getting in this bitch, I forgot how fancy Olive Garden is, y'all. It actually feel like a very nice establishment in here. They sat us in the back in the VIP. We came for that $15 never-ending pasta, y'all. And if we got some room, we finna end it with this chocolatey-ass thing. Quick prayer. Let's the apples, the animals, and all that. Let's to the apples. Let's to the olives. Let's to the gardens. Let's to the never-ending pasta. Kenny got the fucking strawberry, like, passion fruit shit mid she says she you want cheese on this chicken yucky throw that cheese on top the chicken yucky y'all is really the only soup and possibly the only item you ever even need to get at olive garden and the breadsticks go crazy let's blow on it because it came out steaming hot super tasty great texture very soft yucky god damn easily the best soup on the menu then we get on to cracking these breast sticks and i do mean cracking because the outside is firm but the inside is soft you gotta dip it in that soup y'all let it get a little drenched action big 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 god damn olive garden known for these breast sticks y'all i started off with the fettuccine alfredo with the chicken frito on top that's just a fried chicken cut cutlet don't let them lie to you i don't know why they gave me a spoon with my pasta because i'm a pork man quick turtle I don't, I don't know if this is like good or bad in italy but we're not in italy we're in america so i'm gonna do it anyways throw a piece of chicken on top it's creamy it's flavorful the chicken is actually done well not too seasoned but you know still good god damn Kenny Fork got some shit on it that she ain't put on it, y'all. Olive Garden, that's a point deducted for sure. Looking at this pasta plate, y'all, this is too much fucking pasta. I know I signed up for never ending pasta. I can't even make it past my first thing. Next soup we doing is the, like, something fagioli or something. She said it's like a stew. Got meat and noodles and red beans in that motherfucker. Blew it down real quick. The flavor's decent. But, like, really, it tastes like Chef Boyardee with some water in it. My next pasta dish, I had to do spaghetti and meatballs. Keep it classic. Keep it Italian. This meatball is too big, y'all. That's unrealistic. So I had to chop it down, try it with the spaghetti. And honestly, y'all, the meatball is there. The spaghetti tastes whatever. The sauce tastes whatever. It got me like, you know what? I don't even know if I want any more pasta. It was 50 bucks for everything. I'm going to keep it a buck 50 with y'all. The never-ending pasta is unrealistic. You can't even make it past that first bowl. Like, you full as fuck. You done paid all the extras to get all this extra pasta you not finna eat. Just get the lasagna. Just get the ravioli, bro. It's not a vibe. The pasta mid, but we already knew that. But I don't think I'm ever gonna do never-ending pasta.